Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Did I get you? You totally got me, Laurie Nancy Kalabaski. <laughs> How about out there? Did we get you? I was trying to surprise you this morning. Welcome. Happy Monday, everyone. Happy Monday. Listen, no matter what day of the week it is, Laurie Nancy Kalabaski, it's very important in these times to remember one thing, and that is please. Don't pick your nose and eat it. Don't pick your nose that's gross. Don't pick your nose. Don't pick your nose. Don't pick your nose and eat it. Don't pick your nose and eat it. Don't pick your nose that's gross. Don't pick your nose. Don't pick your nose. Don't pick your nose and eat it. Here's why your fingernails are packed with your dough. I need to explain. The dough will crawl right up your nose. <laughs> And then they'll eat you pray. No. No, don't I pick your nose and eat it. Don't pick your nose, that's gross. Don't pick your nose, don't pick your nose, don't pick your nose and eat it. Don't pick your nose and eat it. Don't pick your nose, that's gross. Don't pick your nose, don't pick your nose, don't pick your nose and eat it. Oh, actually, sing along, Tim. I was so busy dancing. I just remembered. The latest scientific report suggests that picking your nose and eating it can help build your immune system. Really? Yep. But we still think it's gross. So don't pick your nose and eat it. Don't pick your nose, that's gross. Don't pick your nose, don't pick your nose, don't pick your nose and eat it. Don't pick your nose and eat it. Don't pick your nose, that's gross. Don't pick your nose, don't pick your nose, don't pick your nose and eat it. Those who get in your mouth, then they crawl down the road. And when they reach your stomach, it's going to explode! So don't pick your nose and eat it. Don't pick your nose, that's gross. Don't pick your nose, don't pick your nose, don't pick your nose and eat it. Don't pick your nose and eat it. Don't pick your nose, that's gross. Don't pick your nose, don't pick your nose, don't pick your nose and eat it. Hamburgers have no nutritional value. Ah, <laughs> oh, very fun. Toast fun. Important to start our week reminding ourselves not to do that. Oh, hello, everybody out there. We've got so many folks joining us this morning. Sing along, Tim. Hi, Talia. Hi, Robin. Cabron and Tanner. Hi, Liam. Welcome back. Uh, good morning. Daniel and Jacob are watching. Hi. We've got Dean and Archer, Aiden and Zach, uh, Grace and Madeline, or Madeline, not sure which one. And uh, oh my goodness, we have a comment from my good friend Iriella, whose favorite song was the Booger song that we just did. Thank you for sending in that request, Iriella. And then, of course, we've got Felix, Flora, and Hugo, super fans. Scott White, hi, Scott. And Betty says hi as well. Good morning, everyone. <laughs> all right, so um, so nice to see you all. I always just have to have to have a little bit of bit of a think about what's been happening. And well, here's what I was thinking about. I was thinking, well, we're going to do three shows this week, and this is the first show. So after today, how many shows do we have left? How many shows do we have left? Hmm. After we finish today's show. Okay. We'll have to think on that one, won't we? Send us your answers in the comment section and we'll we'll call them out at the end. Yeah, great. <clears throat> how are you doing today, sing along, Tim? I'm doing quite well. Um, if I was uh, I was out this morning earlier and I was looking for a friend of mine. I wonder if you know him. Oh. What's his name? His name is the Muffin Man. <gasps> oh. Lorena Skalamansky, do you know the Muffin Man? I don't think I do. Do you know the Muffin Man out there? That's what we're going to do now. Um, 
And Lori Nancy, do you remember who requested that? Oh, I do. That was, there were two people actually, Noah and Avery. Thanks for that request. Thank you for that request. So we're going to start by stomping our feet. We're going to go left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. You got that? Very good. And then we're going to, in the first half of the song, we're going to take four steps in, three, four, and four steps out. One, two, three, four, in, two, three, four, out, two, three, four, in, two, three, four, out, two, three, four. Great. So that's what we do in the first half. We're going to walk towards the screen and then walk away from the screen. And then in the second half of the song, we're just going to march on the spot, clapping our hands like this. Can you do that? That's right, Lori Nancy Kalamansky. That's great. Great. And on top of those two things, we're going to sing the song. Are you ready? Ready and do you know the Muffin Man, the Muffin Man, the Muffin Man? Do you know the Muffin Man who lives on Drury Lane? Yes, I know the Muffin Man, the Muffin Man, the Muffin Man. Yes, I know the Muffin Man who lives on Drury Lane. How was that? Great. Let's do it again. Ready and do you know the Muffin Man, the Muffin Man, the Muffin Man? Do you know the Muffin Man who lives on Drury Lane? Yes, I know the Muffin Man, the Muffin Man, the Muffin Man. Yes, I know the Muffin Man who lives on Drury Lane. Nice. Okay, this time we're going to do it a little bit differently. We're going to do some acting. We're doing a bit of acting in a couple of the songs today, Lori Nancy Kalamansky. Do you remember? Great. So we're going to pretend that we've been looking for the Muffin Man for a very, very long time. We've been on the road for days asking everyone we meet if they know the Muffin Man. So you're very tired and you're very hungry. And and he is great. Okay, so that's the first half. You definitely need to find the Muffin Man more than anything else. You need to meet someone else who knows the Muffin Man. Okay? I love it. Sing along, Tim. Okay. And then in the second half of the song, where we're marching and clapping our hands, we are the mood is going to be completely different because we've met someone who's answered to us, yes, I know the Muffin Man. And that is the best news ever. So that's going to be full of joy and happiness and hope. Okay, everyone ready? Lean into your center. Relax. Thinking of how many days you've been on the road. Do you know the muffin man? The man, the muffin man. Do you know the Muffin Man who lives on Drury Lane? Yes, I know the Muffin Man, the Muffin Man, the Muffin Man. Yes, I know the Muffin Man who lives on Drury Lane. <laughs> I think that require, requires a big bow from everyone. And bow. Oh, that was very good. Take one more. <laughs> it's so good, everybody. Oh, Noah and Avery, those were super, super requests. Which leads me to our next request, which I believe came from our super fan, Liam. That's right. I'm going to type it into the bottom, although Liam probably already knows what it is. There, can everybody see it? Hmm. Let's see. There it is. There it is. All right. So this is a Woody Guthrie tune called Don't You Push Me Down. He's an Amer a famous American singer-songwriter, and he wrote some songs for families. And this is a great tune that Liam has asked us to do. I've got a couple actions for us. Sing along, Tim. Do you think you could help us out with the actions? Awesome. All right. 
So it starts out with the chorus and it goes, don't you push me, push me, push me. Don't you push me down. That's it. Let's try that again. Don't you push me, push me, push me. Don't you push me down. Ah, oh, you got it. And we're going to sing along with that as well. It goes like this. Don't you push me, push me, push me. Don't you push me down. Don't you push me, push me, push me. Don't you push me down. Keep going. Don't you push me, push me, push me. Don't you push me down. Don't you push me, push me, push me. Don't you push me down. Okay, my turn. You can play with me. You can hold my hand. We can skip together down to the pretzel stand. You can wear my daddy's shoes and wear my mommy's hat. You can even laugh at me. Ha, 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 ha. But don't you push me down your turn. Don't you push me, push me, push me. Don't you push me down. Don't you push me, push me, push me. Don't you push me down. Don't you push me, push me, push me. Don't you push me down. Don't you push me, push me, push me. Don't you push me down. Really good. You can play with me. We can build a house. You can take my ball and bounce it up and down. You can take my skates, ride them all around. You can even get mad at me. But don't you push me down. No, don't you push me, push me, push me. Don't you push me down. Don't you push me, push me, push me. Don't you push me down. No, don't you push me, push me, push me. Don't you push me down. Don't you push me, push me, push me. Don't you push me down. You can play with me. We can play all day. You can use my dishes if you put them away. You can feed me apples, oranges, and plums. You can even wash my face. But don't you push me down. Here we go. Don't you push me, push me, push me. Don't you push me down. Don't you push me, push me, push me. Don't you push me down. Don't you push me, push me, push me. Don't you push me down. Don't you push me, push me, push me. Don't you push me down. No music, just voices. Don't you push me, push me, push me. Don't you push me down. Don't you push me, push me, push me. Don't you push me down. <gasps> really good, everybody. Hey, sing along, Tim. Did you know that at the end there where we were just singing with our voices and there were no instruments, that's called a cappella. Cup of coffee? <laughs> a cappella. Can you say that out there? Cup of coffee. Mm, one last try. A cappella. Bless you. <laughs> oh, we've got a few more folks joining us this morning. I think we had a Christopher who says hello. Hi, Christopher. And welcome everybody who came in nice and early. It's so good to have you here. All right, I think it might be time for the quiz. All right, it's a tricky one. So that song, Don't You Push Me Down, was by famous folk singer Woody Guthrie. We would like to know what other famous family song did Woody Guthrie write? This is probably something that you might have to ask your mom or dad or your grandparents, but uh, get them to help and you can type in the comments in the bottom, okay? Oh, sing along, Tim, something's different. Uh, oh. Yeah, yes, yes. Well, I, I thought I was going to be doing some research, so I should put my proper gla research glasses on. Mm. Uh, I thought since we're asking you all to do some research, uh, 
that you might need some research glasses too. So I'll show you how to make them. Really? Oh, that's great because uh, we've got Cooper and Nixon who are also watching now. Maybe they'd like to make some glasses with us. That would be great. Anyway, I just wanted to say that the, the, the famous song that Woody Guthrie wrote is not specifically a song for families, but it's a song that a lot of people know. Uh, so uh, ask your mom and dad if they can think of another very, very famous song by Woody Guthrie. Okay, so to make these researcher glasses that I'm wearing now, you only need a few things. We need some scissors. You need a toilet roll. And you need a box of cereal, maybe. We're gonna do some cutting. So we're gonna take our toilet roll. We're gonna cut three pieces that are kind of thin. And so we cut them. We end up with three sort of pieces like this. You can scratch, uh, squash them back so they're circles again. And then you could do a number of things. You could decorate them with tape or stickers, or you could use paint, which is what I did. And so I painted all my bits kind of black. Then you got to fix the two eye pieces and the bridge piece together. There's several different ways of doing this. You could do it with tape, like I've done here. Tape that to that, and I'm gonna try and tape the other piece. Or you can use a stapler, which is might be easier to be honest, but I did, hadn't worked that out quite when we were planning it, so I didn't let Lori and Nancy know that. So if you've got a stapler, it might be easier. But still, here I put this together with just uh, some tape and three pieces of toilet roll. It's gonna sit like that. You can just press that down a little bit more. And as I say, you might want to decorate it or you could paint them. And I painted mine black, so they look like that. Okay, then you need to work out how you're gonna make these pieces. And that's what you need the cardboard box for, to make the, the legs that go down from your eyepieces to your ears. So I drew them onto this piece of cardboard. You can see there's one and there's the other. And now I'm gonna cut them out. This one, and there's the other. So you can see that it's a good way of uh, making sure you get two that are the same size by cutting them out of the same piece of paper, one on each side, so it's symmetrical. Then you gotta fix the legs onto the eye pieces. Check that the measurement works. I kind of measured the ear, for the distance from my eye to my ear. And then you staple those on. And that enables you to wear your glasses. So those are my researcher glasses that I made with a toilet roll and some scissors and some tape or a stapler today. Oh my goodness, Lori Nancy, you have surpassed all expectations. I can't hear you though. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. Hi. Hi. That was amazing. <laughs> Thank you. So uh, I did the same craft as Sing Along Tim, except I used tape instead of paint and some markers. And then I thought I didn't have any more cereal boxes. So I used some string to tie mine on. Lots of different yeah. ways you can make these glasses. Oh, pipe cleaner. Pipe cleaner, yeah. So a there's a lot of options, but uh, the toilet roll gives you the, the two rounds and the bridge. Yeah. So fun. So out there, if you decide to make them today, please take a photo for us and send it in. We love seeing your crafts and we love seeing you when you're watching the show. So now it's time for another request. And this song was requested by our special guest on Friday's show, Lisa Olofsson. Lisa, if you're there, hello. Thank you again. And she sings this song a lot in her daily life, and you can too. And it's called Difficult Day. And that's what it's about. And it's the character. <laughs> exactly. And we hope that you're not having one today. 
uh, that's more of a Wednesday kind of thing, really. Um, so we were asking ourselves, well, who's the character in this? There's the kids, there's us, and there's the teacher. And so we decided, well, how, how can we make the character of the teacher clear? How do we know that the character of the teacher is different from us? So that's where we put our glasses on. We put our glasses on to become the character of the teacher. Maybe the teacher has a funny voice too in a way of making a gesture like this. Sit down, stand up. I like sing along Tim. Maybe her name could, or his name, or her name could be Penelope Pineapple. Maybe she says it like Penelope Pineapple. Oh, that's a really good idea. Who, can you tell us more about Penelope Pineapple? Well, Penelope Pineapple only eats pineapples for breakfast. And for lunch, she likes to have peanut butter. And for dinner, she likes to have peppers. Wow, that's quite particular. <laughs> All right, I think it's time for the song. <laughs> I'm having a difficult day. I'm having a difficult day. I'm having a difficult day. Nothing is going my way. The teacher says, sit down. Sit down. The teacher says, sit down. Sit down. The teacher says, sit down. Sit down. But I just want to stand up. Yeah, I'm having a difficult day. I'm having a difficult day. I'm having a difficult day. Teacher says, stand up. Stand up. The teacher says, stand up. Stand up. The teacher says, stand up. Stand up. But I just want to sit down. Because I'm having a difficult day. I'm having a difficult day. I'm having a difficult day. Nothing is going my way. The teacher says, speak up. Speak up. The teacher says, speak up. Speak up. The teacher says, speak up. Speak up. But I just want to be quiet. The teacher says, be quiet. Be quiet. The teacher says, be quiet. Be quiet. Teacher says, be quiet. Be quiet. But I just want to talk, 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 Nothing is going my way. Oh, sing along, Tim. I love that song. It's rocking and it just gets all of it, all the energy out. Thanks. Thanks, oh. Wendy Kalamansky. All right. Well, I think it's time to answer the quiz. <laughs> so, the quiz question was Our famous singer songwriter, Woody Guthrie, what other famous song did he write? And we had some guesses coming in the comments. Our good friend Krista says, this land is yours, which is right. The full title, I think, is this land is your land. Super song. Well done, Krista. Two thumbs up. All right. Well, we are so glad that everybody has joined us today. Uh, at the start of the show, we were asking how many shows we thought we would have left this week. Right, Sing Along Tim? Yeah, I said uh, we're going to do three shows this week. We're doing one right now. After we finish this show, how many shows will there be left? In the that's, that's right. So if we did three shows, we're doing three shows. And we've just done one. There are two left yeah great all right so we just want to tell you a little bit about next wednesday's show 
Sing along too. Shall I, shall I go and get my loop going for the last song, the hand washing song? <laughs> Love it. Okay. Great idea. So we, uh, we're really excited. Wednesdays are going to be our something new, something different shows. And uh, which means we're going to try out uh, a new song that we've either written or something that we maybe haven't performed before for you. That's going to be lots of fun. And we're super excited because we have a new single we're going to release on Wednesday. And this is uh, a song you've been singing with us for a couple of weeks now. And it's a song we're about to do, our hand washing song. That's right. All right. So sing along, Tim's just getting the music into the loop machine, and then we're going to do our actions together. If you're new, it's really easy. You can just follow along. All right. And if we didn't get to your request today, we're going to have another All Request Monday next week. And uh, we've made note of ev all the songs you've asked for, and we hope to do them then. All right. Sing along, Tim's rocking. Are you rocking out there? Everybody get their hips moving back and forth. Loosen up those shoulders. Yeah, let's turn on the taps. Yeah. The World Health Organization says you gotta wash your hands with soap and water. Front and back and top and bottom. Make sure that you wash them off. In between your fingers, around both of your thumbs, your knuckles and your wrists. Don't forget your palms. Wash for 30 seconds. And you're done. Like this song. Here we go again. The World Health Organization says you gotta wash your hands with soap and water. Front and back and top and bottom. Make sure that you wash them often. In between your fingers, around both of your thumbs, your nose and your wrists. Don't forget your palms. Wash for 30 seconds. And you're done. Like this song. One more time. The World Health Organization says you gotta wash your hands with soap and water. Front and back and top and bottom. Make sure that you wash them often. In between your fingers, around both of your thumbs, your knuckles and your wrists. Don't forget your palms. Wash for 30 seconds. And you're done. Like this song. Bye, everybody. See you on Wednesday, 10 o'clock Eastern Standard Time.